plays the four for Loyola and you lose size when he's off the floor. Well, they're hopeful, and this is not official yet, they're hopeful that Ingram might be back in a couple of weeks when they play UIC after finals. Milton Doyle knocks down the tray on the board for the first time. And now it's Doyle for Loyola. Custer drives the lane, feeds Gronich, and he scores, and he'll go to the line. And now facing a press, Jeremiah Bell travels, and the Ramblers get the desired result. Open. It's nice for him because he doesn't have to do everything. He'll give the ball up knowing at some point he'll get it back. Blanco Gronich now with five early points. You notice their spacing? Mm -hmm. It's such an improvement over last year. The spacing is where it needs to be, and that's why they're getting such good looks. Doyle with a nice move and then buries the jumper. They set with nine to shoot. Six-point Loyola lead. Doyle drives left baseline. A kick to the corner. Tyson Smith buries the tray. Transfer from the state of Texas. He's got that wide lower body, as Porter Moser says. And he really does a great job sealing off down low. And he gets it down low. Goes around Studer for the bucket. You know, you give Milwaukee credit. They were having a very difficult time offensively to start this game. Custer gets the roll for three. Now, 384 of his 512 career points have come from distance. That's what Cody Wickman does. As Jackson finishes underneath again. Very nice. Clayton Custer working away from the Jackson screen. The jumper through. Milwaukee back within two against Loyola. Doyle, gorgeous pass, and Andre Jackson there. To get all the new guys and younger guys to buy in. With the coaching change that they made at Milwaukee, that's a nice pass underneath, and Jackson getting hot. He's now got eight. And some going into halftime. We'll see if they can, can maximize the final 345, and that's a great way to start. With Milton, Milton Doyle. Doyle throwing down the dunk. Custer finding scope at the top of the key, drills the three. Hasn't seemed to bother him a whole lot here today. Not yet, and Johnson the miss, the rebound to Doyle, and the Ramblers running again. Doyle going coast to coast. And with that basket, Milton Doyle now 22nd on Loyola's all-time scoring list. Running theme every year when we do these games that Loyola is relatively young. It seems like they're young every year, and the reason you feel that way is because when good players leave, they've been able to replenish the system. Milton Doyle for three for the win. Those were early years, Porter. That, <laughs> that was re Loyola rebuild, Porter. Yes. When the jacket would be off after two minutes, or he'd have to call a timeout 30 seconds in. It's a different different era of Loyola basketball now, my friend. It is. From the field, this is just their day offensively. Ben Richardson, now to Doyle at the top of the key as the Ramblers go to the basket and Milton Doyle with a gorgeous move to start the second half. Now August Haas into the lane and could not find anyone to throw it to and Skokna feeding Doyle for the slam. Milton Doyle flushes it, and Loyola now up 15. To finish the way he did, he didn't just finish, he finished with authority. Jeremy Johnson, the basket at the other end, and now what does Loyola do is the encore to that last dunk. Jackson in a round prowl, too easy. Well, I mean, the encore, of course, is an Andre Jackson layup around the basket because that's what he does, did. See, normally, I, I would have wanted to set you up on this because I am always stunned when you have someone who's, I don't know, looks to be a college-age student, and they don't know the Backstreet Boys. Andre Jackson feeding it out. Custer, five to shoot for Loyola. Custer, the fallaway jumper.
And now Custer for the Ramblers. Richardson around his screen, going in on Enzi. Strong move from Ben Richardson. Stole a three from the wing, way short, and Richardson saves it to Doyle. Cross court pass to Satterwhite. Process of rebuilding will go faster for them because everyone is bought in. Milton Doyle, the baseline jumper. And a three at the buzzer off target. And the Loyola Ramblers continue to dominate in their building.